Amen. Tayo po lahat ay tumayo. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Welcome po sa ating prayer meeting. Amen. Song number seven, Standing on the Promises. Let's sing this lively and joyfully. On the first stanza, when he sing, Standing on the promises of Christ my King, To eternal angels let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Amen. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Second stanza. Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the holy storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail Standing on the promises of God And the chorus now Amen Standing on the promises of God My Savior Standing Standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Let's stand, uh, standing on the promises I cannot fall. Listen every moment to the Spirit's call. Resting in my Savior as my all in all. Standing on the promises of God Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God My Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God the lily of the valley. Song number 99, the lily of the valley. First and last stanza, what he sing? I have found a friend in Jesus, is everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. It's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. It's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. While I live by faith and do His blessed will I've oh, nothing now to fear With this mana He my hungry soul shall fill Then slipping up to glory Amen Where rivers of the light shall ever roll It's the lily of the valley the bright and morning star is the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Amen. Amen. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Masaya po ba kayo ngayong gabi? Amen. Amen. Welcome po sa ating uh, prayer meeting. Kanina pong soul winning, we have a total of 198 souls. Amen. Amen. Uh, excited ang mga bisita natin sa taas. Tayo saglit naman alangin. Nakila namin Diyos kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa biyaya na patuloy ay binibigay niyo po sa bawat isa. Salamat po Panginoon sa inyong kadakilaan sa aming buhay. Salamat po sa tagumpay na binibigay niyo po sa aming simbahan sa tatlong Sundays na binigay niyo po para sa aming 40th anniversary. Dalangin po namin ang mga natitirang linggo pa ay pagpalain niyo po ito. Dalangin po namin ang mga 
tao na kinakausap sa area ay kayo po mangusap sa kanilang puso at dalangin po namin this coming Sunday ay marami po ang makasama, maging bisita at uh, marami pong tumanggap sa inyo bilang sariling tagapagligtas. Salamat po Panginoon sa blessing na binibigay niyo po sa church. Salamat sa revival. At ngayong gabi, dalangin po namin kayo po ang mag-bless sa bawat bahagi ng aming panambahan ngayon, especially po ang pangaral ng inyong salita. Salamat po sa mga bisita na kasama po namin ngayong gabi. Dalangin po namin kayo po mag-ingat sa aming uh, pastor as he preached doon po sa lugar ng Los Baños. Ingatan niyo po siya hanggang sa pagbalik po mamaya. Patawad po sa aming mga kasalanan. Ito po'y dalangin ko sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, you may be seated. Amen. Meron na po ba kayong uh, prayer list? Amen. Pakitaas nga po ang uh, prayer list. Amen. All right. So, atin pong ipapanalangin ano po ang uh, goal po ng ating church from 40,000 ay 150,000 na po, ano? So, magpray po natin. Ano pa marami pa po tayong mga schools at yung mga evangelistic meetings, ano po na naka-schedule. Magpray po natin at yung uh, provision ng Panginoon, ano po, provision ng Panginoon, extra strength sa bawat isa, sa bawat uh, uh, members na nag involve ano po, nag-saturate uh, sa area, nag-turo uh, uh, sa mga schools, ano po, at merong evangelistic meeting, so kailangan po natin ng extra strength, ano po. mag din po natin ang ating pastor, extra strength for him and wisdom, pag po natin siya at ang kanya pong family, ano po. And then, Uh, huwag po natin kalimutan yung schedule po ng ating uh, motorcade ano po, Yan po ay sa February 23 Yung last Saturday ano po, Bago yung victory po natin Victory Sunday Ay meron po tayong motorcade ano po, So uh, uh, yan po ay uh, bawat division ano po, So please cooperate with your area captain and division leader ano po, Para sa ating Uh, motorcade ano po so pagpray po natin yan ano po so meron po tayo mga assign na ipagpe-pray diyan sino po yung uh, uh, number one? pakitas nga po kamay number one. sino magpe-pray na number one? amen number two? number three? number four? number five? number six? number seven? number eight? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Amen. So, pwede na po tayong dumako sa panalangin. Hanap po kayong lugar. Pwede po dito sa altar. Tayo po yung manalangin.
Amen. Tayo po tayong lahat. Tayo po yung manalangin. Takilang Diyos, salamat po Panginoon sa time na binigay niyo po sa amin na kami po ay makalapit sa inyo. Salamat po sa inyong mga anak na dumalo sa aming prayer meeting at lumuhod at manalangin. Alam po namin na uh, wala po kaming uh, magagawa kung di niyo po kami sasamahan. Kaya kami po yung nagmamakaawa sa inyong pong biyay sa aming buhay. At dalangin po namin, samahan niyo po kami as we uh, prepare for our uh, two Sundays ng aming uh, anniversary. Dalangin po namin ang mga taong aming makakausap ay nawa po sila ay magkaroon ng magandang response. Sila po ay makatiyak ng langit at sila po ay maging uh, kabahagi sa aming Uh, gawain dito po sa lugar na San Pedro. Salamat po Panginoon sa vision na binibigyan niyo po sa aming pastor. Salamat po Panginoon sa mga opportunities na binuksan niyo po para maraming tao ang maabot ng Ibanghelyo. Dalangin po namin, kami po ay uh, nagmamakaawa sa inyo kay po ang magkontrol ng panahon this coming Sunday at sa aming pong uh, Victory Sunday. Salamat Panginoon sa provision niyo po sa church. Salamat sa extra strength na binibigyan niyo sa bawat isa. Dalangin po namin kung meron po may karamdaman Extend nyo po sa kanila ang inyong healing hand. Salamat Panginoon sa uh, privilege na binigay nyo sa amin ngayong gabi na kami po ay makapa, makapanambahan, makapakinig ng inyong salita. Dalangin po namin, bigyan nyo po ng revival ang aming mga puso. Salamat Panginoon sa privilege na binibigay nyo sa amin. At kayo po ang mag-bless sa bawat isa. Dalangin po namin ang mga bumabiyahe, papapunta rito, ingatan nyo po sila. Tawad po sa aming mga kasalanan, ito po dalangin ko sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Amen. Huwag po natin kalimutan, ano po, yung schedule po natin. Meron po tayong uh, motorcade on the 23rd, ano po. And then yung uh, uh, fourth Sunday, ano po, this coming Sunday, ano po. Marami pa po tayong mga bisitang dadalhin, amen. Amen. 150,000, amen. So pag-pray po natin ang uh, mga... Mga tao po na ating mga kausap, ano po? Pag-pray po natin yung mga schools, safety sa mga uh, umaaten po na bisita, ano po? So salamat sa uh, ginagawa ng Panginoon. Every Sunday ay maraming miracles tayong nakikita, ano po? So sama po natin sa uh, ating pong uh, schedule po yan, ano po? Huwag po natin kalimutan. And then sa ating uh, uh, yung... Last Sunday, ano po, sa gabi ay merong Victory Night. Amen? So, dapat nakaredy na po ang mga lechon. Ano po? Lechong manok. Ano? Lechong baboy. Ano? So, uh, dapat po ay uh, uh, nagpapaalam na kayo dun sa mga kakatayin. Ano po? So, malapit na po silang kainin. Ano? So, pag-pray po natin yung mga event po na yan. Ano po? Two Sundays more. Amen? Excited po ba kayo na naabot natin ang goal natin? Amen? Amen. Dalawang linggo pa po. Ano? Dalawang linggo. At nakita po natin, nasasanay na tayo na parating maraming crowd na umaaten pag Sunday. Ano? Alam na alam na nila yung gagawin. No? So, napakaganda pong uh, tingnan po ang ginagawa ng Panginoon sa ating simbahan. At ngayong gabi po, we're so blessed to have a total of seven first-time guests. Amen. If this is your first time, would you please stand? Gusto po namin kayong makilala, ma-recognize. Pakita niyo po yung aming bisita ngayon. Seven of them. Amen. 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 Pito po ang bisita natin ngayong gabi. Meron po doon sa taas. Amen. Tayo po tayong lahat. Let's welcome each and everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Amen. Kamayan po natin ang bawat isa, especially ang mga bisita po natin. Give your best smile, then later sing. Singing as the days go by, 
Jesus took my burden, strolled away. Amen. Pwede na po kayong uh, maupo. Pakinggan po natin ang missionary letter from Tanzania. Tanzania, January uh, 2018. Dear Pastor Ed Lorena and Christian Bible Baptist Church, Greetings from the Earth Salam. While 2018 was full of challenges and changes for us, we praise the Lord that we have seen His working in, la in our lives and in the ministry here as we finish the year and look forward to another. May this report during the last quarter of 2018 be a blessing to you. Church anniversary. We praise God for bringing our pastor, Wendell Bernessa, who preached during the anniversary last October 21, 2018. We've witnessed the hands of God as he mightily blessed the services. In the afternoon, we had our first Bible Institute graduation ceremony with six graduates. Amongst them would be my wife. Uh, Shalimar. All of these graduates are serving the Lord. By next year, we are praying and planning on how to continue this ministry as we encourage members to join uh, and enhance their life with the principles of the Word of God or equip them for the ministry. The Bible Baptist Church of Kim Kimara has been, uh, has been through many hard times and trials, but we praise the Lord for His grace in sustaining us through all this. Mission outreach in uh, Mipiji village. The Filipino church organized a mission church to the Mipiji village last December 26. We went to the village and invited people for an evangelistic service. There were more than 200 adults and children that came and two were saved by, after hearing the message of salvation. Uh, the Filipino brethren uh, are up, uh, after this distributing the gifts to those who came, had a great fellowship and lunch together with the members of Mipiji and Filipino churches. We commend the host uh, church for preparing such meeting. The Bible mi Baptist mission of, mission of Mipiji is doing very well under the leadership of Brother Lutopio Miwantome, gaining the reputation as a Bible preaching church, uh, different from other existing churches in the area. The attendance also is growing. I have two believers baptized last December 23. Please continue to pray for this young church and the leadership of Brother uh, Miwan Tobe as he balanced as he balanced in both uh, pastoring and being a professional in a university. Pastors and church leadership training. We had another another pastors training at the Highlands Camp in Morogoro. Eight pastors of independent Baptist churches and ten leaders from the fellowship of churches came for a two-week block class. We've covered 60 hours of materials on the New Testament survey. Our family will be traveling to Morogoro as I will be teaching the first week. I, it was an exhausting but blessed time. We are praying and planning as we encourage these men in their ministries, equipping them to be better pastors and servants in their Respected ministries. Praises and prayer requests. Number one, our plan for Forlo on the end of March 2019, which the primary reason uh, are for uh, Malaika and uh, Imani Roots Senior High School education in the Philippines and attend to some health concerns. Number two, our visas renewal. Pray that this will go unhindered. We need to have it renewed before our departure to the Philippines. Number three, Missionary John Coronel and family, we praise God that their visas were released after a, lent, a lengthy process. They arrived in the Air Salam uh, last January 2. Please pray for their adjustment, language studies, and involvement uh, to the ministry. Your missionaries, Jesse and Shalimar Thingson, Malaika and Imani Ruth. Amen. Sige po, tayo lahat ay tumayo. At buksan po natin and song number 38, Trust and Obey. Trust and Obey. On the first stanza, what he sing? When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He 
abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no Not a shadow can arise, not a cloud in the skies, but a smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sign or a tear can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other Trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will seek at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says, we will do. Where he says, we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Now, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and Tonight we're so blessed to have our missionary from Thailand preach for us. Amen. Missionary Dylan Bazar. Amen. Uh, tayo po'y saglit naman na langin. Dakilang Diyos, salamat po sa pagkakataong ito na kami po ay makikinig ng inyong salita. Nalangin po namin, kayo po ang patuloy na magkabay sa amin. Bigyan niyo po kami na revival. Bless you po ang special number to prepare our hearts for your word. Forgive us in our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. May be seated.
Amen. <laughs> Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Amen. Sorry, Kap. <laughs> At salamat po sa Panginoon na, na, na palagi pong uh, tayo binibigyan ng uh, pagkakataon and privilegio na tayo po ay uh, makapaglingkod po sa Kanya. Amen. Uh, sa paningin ko po rito ay uh, alam ko pong kayo ay uh, physically speaking ay napapagod din. Amen. <laughs> Pero salamat po at uh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. At salamat po sa ating uh, pastor at binigyan po tayo ng pagkakataon makapagbahagi uh, po ng salita. Salamat po sa inyong prayers. At uh, patuloy niyo po yung pray ang uh, ministry po natin doon sa Thailand. At uh, nag-average po tayo doon ng uh, 60 na po. Uh, minsan 70, minsan 50. <laughs> ano po? At sa biyaya po ng Panginoon, please continue to pray yung uh, bubuksan po. At kanina nga po ay uh, hindi lang po isa ang gusto ni Pastor na mabuksan po natin na some extension or outreaches ay uh, pag-pray niyo po. Amen? At alam ko po kasama po namin kayo palagi sa prayer and uh, bahagi po ng uh, kayo, ang, ang simbahan po na ito ay napakalaking bahagi po sa uh, sa ministry po. may malaking bahagi sa ministry po natin doon. Amen. Thank you for your prayers, thank you for your financial support at patuloy po tayong maglingkod sa Panginoon. Amen. Let's close in prayer. Amen. <laughs> Tayo po tayong lahat Acts chapter 8. Amen. Acts chapter 8. Marami po akong gustong i-share po sa inyo at uh, kaya lang uh, uh, mga bagay po na ito ay uh, ito po yung uh, baon-baon po natin pag uh, dating po natin sa Thailand ito pong dala uh, dala na naituro po sa atin salita ng Diyos. Amen? Acts chapter 8 Acts chapter 8 Basahin po natin Acts chapter 8 uh, verse 1 uh, Hanggang uh, verse 5 po. Acts chapter 8 verse uh, chapter 8 verse 1 hanggang verse 5. Are you there? Amen. Okay, thank you. Okay, ang sabi po ng Bible sa Acts chapter uh, 8 verse 1 uh, verses 1 to 5 ready read. And Saul was consenting unto his death which was at Jerusalem and they were all scattered abroad. except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, and hailing men and women committed them to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere, preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. Then verse, ano po, after Philip preaching, in verse 8, ready, go. And there was great joy in that city. And then another verse, after that po, when he went to Samaria, and look at what the Bible says in, uh, uh, in uh, verse 26. Verse 26, ready, go. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch, a great authority under Candace, queen of Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So we know the story about uh, Philip, and uh, siya po inutusan ng uh, angel of the Lord, Kinausap po siya para iwin po ang Ethiopian eunuch. Amen. Amen. Salamat po dahil itong ginagawa po natin. We go outside, confrontational soul winning. Ito po hindi utos ng ating pastor. Amen. Ito ay utos mismo ng Diyos through the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I hope that our, aside from the fact that we are encouraged, we are instructed by our pastor, uh, we should know that this command is from God. Amen. And then, you know what? Another verse, bago ho tayo, medyo mababa lang yung pagbabasa natin. Look at what the Bible says in uh, verse 30. Ready, go. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? 
And then verse 31, and he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And then what and then Matapas sa verse 34 and 35. Ready go. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this of himself or of some other man? Verse 35, all together, ready go. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him, Jesus. We are we were just beginning. Amen. Nag-uumpisa pa lang ang Christian Bible Baptist Church. At ang blessing po, kunin na po natin dito, began at the same scripture. Amen? Began at the same scripture. Salamat at hindi nagbabago. Amen? Tayo po ay manalangin. Nakila naming Diyos, maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, muli at uh, niling po namin. I know that I do not deserve to be entrusted with the perfect word of God and pure word of God. Pero salamat po, Panginoon, sa inyong biyaya at sa inyong habag. Tulungan niyo po ako, Panginoon, na maibahagi ko po ang inyong silita. Lord, I just want to be a blessing. I want to serve thee, O God, through thy people. Lord, cover me with thy precious blood. Salamat po sa pribileho na ito. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord, would bless every word that would come out from my mouth. Tulungan niyo rin po ang inyong mga anak that they would give their undivided attention to the listening of God's word. This we all ask, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Sa mahabang pagtayo, pwede na kayong maupo. Amen. So we know already the story. And uh, 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 nung uh, ano po, isa pong naging uh, uh, binigay sa akin ng wisdom ng Panginoon when in, in 2013, when we started the ministry there in, in, in Thailand, ay uh, talaga pong uh, habang nagbabiyahe po ako and every morning and every night aside from uh, other uh, books of the Bible I, I really want to read the book of Acts ano po? because uh, we know that the book of Acts are uh, uh, this is the history of the church amen at kung paano kumilos ang banal na espiritu sa mga apostles and one of the uh, uh, man or one of the men na ginamit ng Panginoon, ito po si Philip. Ano po? Ito po si Philip na ginamit po siya ng Panginoon and he was led by the Holy Spirit. And you know what? When Philip was used by God, there was great joy in that city. Amen? Alam niyo po mga patid, kaya ho tayo uh, uh, patuloy na, na sa biyaya po ng Panginoon, ha, pagpatuloy tayo sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon, I believe merong ginamit ang Panginoon. Ano po? Amen? Ito pong uh, book of Acts in chapter 8, this was the time where uh, the, the church at Jerusalem were under persecution. Ano po? Uh, sa panguna po ni Saul, nung hindi pa po siya Paul. Ano po, uh, the church was uh, under persecution, sabi ng Bible, hindi lamang po great persecution, hindi lamang po great trial, uh, hindi lamang po ito, kundi ito po ay struggle ng mga miyembro po ng church sa, sa church at Jerusalem. So not only just a, a, a uh, yung simple persecution, kito po ay sabi ng Bible sa so verse 1, great struggle, great persecution against the church. Ano po? Pero uh, alam po natin na bagamat meron pong struggle, meron pong persecution, meron pong trial, ito po ay bahagi pa rin sa plano ng Diyos. Amen? Ito pa rin po ay bahagi. Maring maraming mangyayari sa buhay po natin na hindi natin sukat akalain na uh, maaring uh, uh, mag-discourage sa atin o maaring uh, ano man yan, namatayan man tayo o nagkasakit o ano pa man yung uh, struggle natin pero lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay pinahintulutan ng Panginoon. Bahagi pa rin to sa malaking plano ng Diyos sa ating buhay at hindi lamang po yun sa ating simbahan. Ibig sabihin, may persecution, may plano at may purpose ang Panginoon. Amen? May purpose ang Panginoon. At kung ano man yung mga struggle na meron po tayo ngayon, may purpose ang Panginoon po dyan. Amen? And then lastly, of course, gusto lang ipakita ng Panginoon yung kanyang kapangyarihan. Amen? Ngayon po, dito po sa ating binasa, ito po yung kalagayan nung, nung uh, Church at Jerusalem. Ang isa sa mga purpose ng Panginoon kung bakit ito po ay uh, pinahintulutan niya, ang sabi sa verse 1, And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria except the apostles. So they were scattered abroad. 
they went out uh, to the regions of Judea and Samaria. You know what? Judea and Samaria were part of the Great Commission. Amen? Judea and Samaria were parts of the Great Commission. Ano po sabi na Acts 1.8? Acts 1.8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Ang Samaria po ay isang part po ng uh, uh, isang bansa na uh, kailangan din po silang maligtas. At hindi lang dapat ta magko-concentrate sa Jerusalem. And no wonder po sa biyaya ng Panginoon na tayo po ay uh, merong gawain sa ibang probinsya, sa ibang munisipyo, sa ibang syudad, hanggang sa ibang bansa. Amen? Dahil ang, ang gawain po ng Panginoon ay hindi lamang po dito. Ano? At ang lagi nating naririnig sa ating pastor, ang gawain ng Panginoon hindi lamang po uh, uh, sa Jerusalem, And then, hindi lang din po sa labas sa Jerusalem, kundi both. Di ba po? Lagi nating naririnig at the same time. Kaya salamat po sa Panginoon dahil yung habang uh, biyaya ng Panginoon, busy ang iba nating mga kapatid sa ibang bansa, sa ibang lugar, busy din po kayo po rito. Na sa kalagitnaan, konti na lang, dalawang linggo na lang. Amen. Busy pa rin. Amen. You know, kaya si BBC, laging BC. So, uh, this time in the Bible, unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So, kasama po, kasama po sa, sa Great Commission ang Samaria. And you know what? Ginamit ng Panginoon ang isang, ang isang uh, preacher, sabi po dito sa verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with the palsies, and that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city. I know. Ano po na... Ang, ang goal po natin ay gusto natin maging, uh, ma-enjoy po natin. Alam nyo, uh, alam nyo po, wala na hong tatalo sa isang krisyano na siya ay tumanggap sa Panginoon at siya po ay masaya na, na tinanggap niya ang Panginoon. At hindi lamang po isang krisyano, kundi makita natin there was great joy in that city. City po ang pinag-uusapan mga patid. Why there was great joy in that city? Number one there, makita po natin, because of what the Bible says, therefore they were scattered abroad, went everywhere, preaching the word of God. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. The first person na ginamit ng Panginoon, why there was great joy in the city of Samaria? Because of the missionary. Because of Philip. Amen? Because of the missionary, because of Philip. Balikan kaya po natin ng konti. I believe 40 years na po ang dumaan. 41. When Pastor Ed started with uh, mission work. 41 years or 42, I don't know. But uh, I believe 40 years. Balikan po natin. Bago po natin ini-enjoy po itong ministry na ito. There was a missionary. Amen? In the person of Philip. Why there was great joy in that city? Because of the missionary, Philip. Amen? Dahil ang sabi ng Bible, Then Philip went down. Went down to the city of Samaria. And again, bagamat meron pong persecution, hindi lamang, uh, um, uh, hindi lang uh, basta-bastang struggle or persecution, but great persecution, pero kailangan pa rin manaig po ang kalooban ng Diyos, ang plano ng Diyos. At ang purpose ay to build a church in Samaria. Sa pangunguna po na isang missionary, and that was Philip. Salamat po, sa ating, salamat po sa ating pastor at sumunod po siya sa panawagan ng ating Panginoon, and he went down to the city of San Pedro. Amen? <laughs> Bagamat, di ba, kinukwento po niya na may problema sa mata, dumaan lang ang train, nasiraan ho ang train, o ano pa bang mga kwento na yon. Pero, kailangan manaig ang plano ng Diyos. Amen? At ang purpose is, To have great joy in the city of San Pedro. Amen? 
na merong ganitong klaseng simbahan. Yung sinakyan ho namin is, yung isang gabi o kagabi, sabi niya, ano ho ba ito? Kasi natido kami ang ganyan. Uh, ano pa ito? Simbahan po, simbahan. Ah, compound. Sabi, sasabihin ko sana, Baptist City po ito. Hindi <laughs> ito compound. No, na-amaze po siya. There, uh, kasi nga, wow, what a blessing na ganitong klaseng simbahan. And we are enjoying these blessings. Amen? I, I don't know about you, but are you enjoying? Amen? Sige lang ho. Ma, uh, uh, habang uh, palapit na ho yung uh, second to the last anniversary, and then next Sunday, and then uh, mag-celebrate na tayo, Victory Sunday. Amen? Let's enjoy, mga bate, dahil balikan ho natin, there was a missionary and, uh, 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 in the city of San Pedro. Salamat po sa Panginoon at ginamit po ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, there was great joy in that city because of the missionary who is Philip. In the person of Philip. Salamat po, dahil ang San Pedro, there was a missionary in the person of our uh, pastor, Dr. Ed M. Laurena. Amen? And you know what? Ano bang ginawa ng ating pastor? Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preach. And preach. Amen? And preach. Salamat po dahil ang ating pastor hindi nanawang mag-preach. Hindi tumigil na mag-preach. And why there was great joy in that city because of the missionary in the person of Philip And because of the ministry, the ministry of preaching. Anong nagpabago ng iyong buhay? Because of the preaching of the gospel. It is power. Eh, uh, uh, kung ang para sa iba, ay ito ay kahibangan. Pero sa atin, kapangyarihan ng Diyos para tayo maligtas. Aren't you glad that you are saved tonight? Because of the ministry and the ministry of the preaching of the gospel. Amen. Salamat po sa Panginoon, mga batid. Dahil ang Panginoon po ay uh, bahagi sa plano ng Diyos ay masave ka sa pamamagitan ng ministry of preaching through the missionary. Kaya, minsan pag inisip ko, Panginoon, magtutuloy ho ba kami rito? <laughs> Tutuloy ho ba namin ito? Pero laging paalala, Bahagi sa plano ng Diyos. Tuloy lang sa preaching. Tuloy lang sa preaching. Tuloy lang sa preaching. May akalain niyo po, nakapag five years din po tayo doon. Amen? Amen? Biyaya ho ng Panginoong mga patid. Akalain niyo po, 40 years na ho ang simbahan na ito. Amen? Yun po yung dapat nating maunawaan ho, ba, ba, sa bahagi ng plano ng Diyos. So there was a missionary in the person of Philip and there was a, a ministry and the ministry was the ministry of preaching. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake. Ano ba ang, ang, ang ministry? Ang sabi ng Bible, ang sabi ng Bible um, sa, sa Matthew, Matthew, very familiar verse. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. And uh, uh, verse 18, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Alam kasi ni Philip po eh. Alam ni Philip. You know what? Who, who is Philip? Philip po ay uh, uh, siya po yung uh, isa sa mga pinili kasama ni Stephen. Isa sa mga pinili sa Acts chapter 6. Balik po natin. Isa po siya sa mga pinili at anong klaseng tao po si Philip? Sabi ng Bible sa Acts chapter 6. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Christians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected. In the daily ministration, then the twelve called the multitudes of the disciples unto them, and he said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among ye seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom ye may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. 
and the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, the, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas. Kaya mga kapatid, uh, makikita po natin that uh, this Philip ay hindi lang naman po, kahit naman po sino eh, pwedeng tawagin ang Panginoon. Pero makikita natin, Philip was used by God not because he was better than others. Amen? Not because he was intelligent, more intelligent than others. But I believe, siya po ay nandito. Na, nasa gawain ng Panginoon. And ang sabi nga, ang pipiliin natin ay full of faith, full of the Holy Ghost. And one of those was Philip. Amen? One of those was Philip. And Prochorus and Nicanor and Timon and Parmenas, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. That was Philip. Kaya sino si Philip? Yung full-time? Amen? Yung Sunday school teacher? Amen? Yung choir member? Amen? Ibig sabihin, yung tapat sa Panginoon. Amen? Mga patid, yung pinupuntahan natin sa area, be one of their Philips. Amen? Yung pupunta tayo sa area at meron tayong mabahagin na salita ng Diyos, be one of their Philips. Amen? Kaya tuloy lang po ang gawain ng Panginoon. Ano po yung ministry? Soul winning. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Anong ituturo? About soul winning or about paano sila'y maligtas. Baptizing them, that's another part of the Great Commission. And then, teaching them. Kaya, sa ating simbahan po mga patid, merong unsaved na maliligtas. Mahirap naman yun ilang taon na unsaved pa rin. No? Unsaved na dapat maligtas. Amen? At then, yung saved ay mabaptize. And then, yung mabaptize ay maturuan, madisciple. At yun ho ang ginagawa ng ating simbahan for 40 years, for more than 40 years now. Salamat po. Hindi ho ba kayo nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon? Sige lang ho, matatapos na ho yung dalawang Sunday. Man. But we will do our best for the ministry. Amen? And the ministry of soul winning, the ministry uh, or the, the Great Commission, the winning of souls, the baptizing and the teaching, discipleship. So that is the ministry. And let us always remember na ang ministry na ito, hindi tayo nilagay ng Panginoon dahil mas magaling tayo sa iba. Amen? sa habag na lamang ng Panginoon na tayo ay nilagay ng Panginoon. Lagi po nating tatandaan sa biyay ng payong kaya po tayo nasa ministry, kaya po tayo nakapag-preach, nakapag-teach, nakapag-akay ng kaluluwa, nakapag-awit, nakapag-turo. Why? Because of the mercy of God. Amen? We have this ministry because of His mercy. Amen? We receive this ministry because of God's mercy. Kaya wala ho akong pwedeng ipagmamalaki. Wala tayong pwede ipagmamalaki. Uy, 38 years na ako dito sa church. Sa habag ng Diyos. Amen? Uy, 40 years na ang CBBC. Sa habag ng Diyos. Amen? We are the living exhibit. Ano po? Sa habag ng Diyos. Na ating buhay. Kaya po, that is the ministry. Preaching. Amen? Balik po tayo dun sa verse 8. And, and then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached. Anong pinreach? Ano po sabi ng Bible? Ano pong pinreach? Preach. Alay na kap? Alay na kap. Preach. Verse 5, sige po. Acts chapter 8, verse 5. Ready, go. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ. Pag binasa po natin yan, hanggang sa pumunta po tayo doon sa verse 35, Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture. Ibig sabihin, if you use the same scripture, you will preach the same Savior. Amen? You will preach the same Jesus. Sabi po dito, He preached Christ unto them. Why there was great joy in that city of Samaria? Because of the missionary Philip. 
because of the uh, ministry, the ministry of preaching. And number three, because of the message. Amen. The message, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Preaching the gospel that only Jesus saves. Biyaya ho ng Panginoon. Salamat. Simula noon hanggang ngayon, di nagbabago. Biyaya ho ng Panginoon. Ito ay patuloy na pinagkakatiwalaan ng Panginoon ang kanyang perfectong salita. Amen? Because which He did. Sa Panginoon, ibig sabihin, Amen? Kung dati tayong sinusundo with a loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many take you in the pulses and that were lame, were healed. See? gaano pa kahirap i-invite yan kahit gaano pa kahirap na tao kahit pa rin ibahagi sa kanila si Kristo hindi lang yung isang kilong bigas amen amen hindi lang yung uh, Jollibee max naman amen <laughs> amen so kailangan ibahagi pa rin si Kristo yun ang number one amen Ibahagi natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. I-preach natin, ipangaral natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya po sabi po dyan, there was great joy in that city. You know what? Ito, isang mahirap talagang i-win. Sabi sa verse 8, 9. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed. From the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard, because that of long time, he had bewitched them with sorceries. Marabi itong uh, mangkukulam na ito, mga batid. Maliligtas pa kaya ito? But verse 12, sabi ng Bible, But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women, then Simon himself believed also. Wow! Believe also. Kahit gano pa yung kahirap, mga batid. Amen? Simon believed also. Kahit mangkukulam pa yan. And he was baptized. Ang blessing po nito, yung ma-invite mo bukas, yung madadala mo, kahit gano pa kahirap yan, ang blessing nito, hindi lang siya maliligtas, hindi lang siya magpapabaptize. Ang sabi ng Bible sa verse 4 or 13, Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he what? Continued with Philip. Wow! And wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Ako po'y naligtas noong uh, 40th anniversary. Wow! Merong magte-testify, no? Five years from now. Ako po'y naligtas noong 40th anniversary sa area Westgate. <laughs> sa area ganito. At salamat po sa Panginoon. Ngayon ako ngayon nasa Syria. Wow! Preaching the gospel that only Jesus saves. Amen. <laughs> Salamat po sa aming uh, area uh, captain, area leader na kami ay in-invite noong 40th anniversary ng CBBC. Wow. At alam niyo ang blessing dito, bagama dahil bagong Kristiyano. Sabi sa verse, Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John. And then what the Bible says, Sino nga ba yung naligtas na makukulam? Si Simon. Tingnan niyo po sabi sa, sa Simon. And when Simon saw that through laying of the apostles, hands of the laying was given, he offered them money. Aba? Marami pala itong pera na itong uh, makukulam na ito. Ah, ah. Amen? Kaya, pwede na, hanapin natin itong makukulam na ito. <laughs> Maraming pera. At yung, uh, yung uh, gusto ng bayaran, yung ginagawa ng mga apostles, yung bayaran, yung area leader, eh, magkano ka ba, sir? <laughs> Pero ang katotohanan dito, may pera, amen? Ay, mga patid, ay eh, kasi yun yung amazement niya eh. Pero habang matuturuan, mas lalo pang magbibigay. Kaya hindi problema yan, Jollibee na yan, pamigay natin sa, sa mga bisita. Amen? That God will provide and He uses people. 
Amen? Na yung people na yon hindi kung ikaw ay uh, uh, nasa West, uh, ano ba, E1, W2, ano ka bang area, hindi ko talaga, ma, hindi ko matanggap. <laughs> Kasi ang alam ko, 1 to 36 na <laughs> North East, o ano pa man. So, hindi manggagaling sa ibang uh, mga area. Amen? Siguro sa West 6, manggagaling, ano ba yung Area 6 ngayon? West 6. <laughs> <laughs> manggagaling mismo saan? Doon sa mga taong mawiwin natin. Amen? Kaya mga kapatid, tuloy lang kahit alam kong pagod ka na, yung mawiwin mo bukas, magbibigay yan para sa next Sunday. Amen? <laughs> para tayong kinulam doon. Ha? <laughs> Pero mga kapatid, And when Simon saw that they're laying, laying on the apostles' hands of the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Mga patid, hindi ho mahirap humanap ng provision dahil sabi ng Bible, but my God shall supply all your needs. Sige lang, kaya nga tayo nandito ngayon, mananalangin tayo para sa ipamimigay natin ngayong linggo. Amen? Amen? Tuloy lang! Tuloy lang po mga patid. Why there was great joy in that city of San Pedro, Samaria? Because of the message. And the message was the person of the Lord Jesus, guys. Hindi magbabago. Preaching the gospel. And you know what? Nagkaroon po ng great rejoicing in that city. Tumigil ba si Philip? Hindi po. Amen? Hindi po siya tumigil. Mga batid, masaya na ho tayong naglilingkod dito sa city of San Pedro. Hindi ibig sabihin na titigil na tayo. Ang sabi again ng Bible, Acts chapter 8, sabi ng Bible, Now, uh, kinausap na naman ng Panginoon si Philip sa so verse 26. Yung binasa natin kanina. Yun ang blessing mga batid, eh. Victory after victory after victory after victories after victories after victories. Ang kailangan pa rin natin ay pangungusap ng Panginoon. Yung leadership ng Banal na Espiritu. Ang dami mo nang nadalang bisita nung first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday. Kailangan pa rin natin ang pangungusap, ang leadership ng Banal na Espiritu. Amen? Para saan tayo dadalhin, saan tayo pupunta, Hininda na ng Panginoon yung mga tao na dadalhin mo ngayong linggo. Ang kailangan lang natin, let us be led by the Holy Spirit. Ganito po nangyari kay Philip sa verse 30, 26. And the angel, and verse 25, And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, returned to them and preached the gospel, men in the many villages of the Samaritans. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Kandasi. Dito, dito na ho natin makikita mga patid. Tapos na, pinagawa na ang Panginoon sa atin, pero hindi pa rin tapos ang gawain ng Panginoon. So, mahita natin dito, may isang taong pinagkatiwala na naman ng Panginoon kay Philip. And look at what the Bible says. Tingnan naman natin yung aspects ng mga tao. Him read the prophet to Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? Wow. Meron talagang mga tao, mga batid, na merong desire na naghahanap ng katotohanan. Na gusto nilang maglingkod din sa Panginoon, pero hindi nila alam. Tayo yung gagamitin ng Panginoon. Ano sabi ng Bible? Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, how can I except the man should guide me? Soul winning, Amen. And, ano sabi ng Bible? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Biruin niyo po yan. Kung hindi ka magsusulwining bukas, naghihintay yung may desire na maligtas at dapat 
ma- maka-attend sa Sunday. At dahil pagod na tayo, wag na tayo mag-area. Eh, meron na palang hinanda ang Panginoon na merong desire. Amen? Sabi ng Bible, and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Wow! Kaya hindi lamang po mangkukulam ang maliligtas. Pati po ito, mga batid. Amen? Kaya, mga batid, the desire of the unsaved, the desire of the unbeliever, I hope na uh, mapunuan natin yung desire nila ng pangangailangan nila ng tagapagligtas. At sinong gagamitin ng Panginoon? Philip. Sino si Philip? Ikaw yun. Tayo po yun. Sige lang po. Ibuksan niyo po. Acts 18.28 The Bible says, For he mightily convinced the Jews and that publicly shewing by the Scriptures that Jesus was Christ. When we begin with the same scripture, scripture, we will preach the same Savior with confidence. Amen? With confidence. Kahit pagod na yan, parang ano pa rin yan? Parang hindi pa rin napapagod yan, magsusulwining pa rin yan. With confidence pa yan. Kaya ibig sabihin, maliligo pa rin yan, kahit pagod. Amen? Amen? Hindi get busy, eh, hindi na maliligo. <laughs> with confidence, Amen? Ay kahit kahit naman hoy bi 